What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Uh, as you can see, there is the 5600 XTs. As you can see the six boxes, but I am having a lot of difficulties with them. Uh, I did have them on Hive OS and it kept crashing. Uh, Claymore wouldn't build DAG files. Phoenix Miner wasn't working. And Red Team Miner would work for about an hour or two and then it would start crashing. I don't know if it's overclock settings, but as you can see, two of these aren't even hooked up. And right now it's actually on Windows. I had an SSD laying around, so I flashed it with Windows. I installed it, got the miner set up. So right now it's on nice hash, as you can see right here. But the problem I have facing is you can see getting decent mega hash out of three of them. It's been running for almost two hours now but one of them you see a 38 mega hash a second i'm not getting good overclocks out of it uh not too bad though they're all they're all running about you can see right down here 100 watts they're all about the same hovering between 100 105 watts and about the one 38 mega hash the other two are around 40 mega hash a second this is a stock bios on all four of the cards so right now I've tried to get a fifth card on. I'm trying, I was adding them slowly. I started with two, went to three, and then up to four. And the drivers installed nice, started hashing. I had it running for a few days and it was doing good with the four cards. Right now it's doing good again. Then I messed with it and went, went unstable again. Uh, so last night I tried putting a fifth card on unsuccessfully, it kept crashing windows. Uh, I get an error when I try to install the drivers that it overloaded the stack buffer. So I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. Uh, everything else on the rig, like I, I really like these cards. I'm hoping I can get it stable. I'm wondering if on Hive OS I was just having bet, like too aggressive overclocks. Like you can see the one up here at 38 megahertz a second. I'm wondering if I had that overclock too heavy and that's why it was crashing. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get the other two cards on it running stable. I might try and switch it back to Hive OS or just leave it on Nice Ash Mining if I can get all six stable. I'd like to get all six cards going. Uh, as you can see here, my little makeshift, I don't even have a mouse pad. Eventually, I want to get this mo like two little TV slash monitor and the keyboard onto this table. As you can see, I've been Working down here, trying to clean it up. Uh, still have a little bit of work to go. I'll move the hockey equipment. And I can even get another rig down there if I wanted to. But I plan on getting this rig off the shelf. Maybe putting it up top, possibly. And I also also plan on building a new shelf. I'm not too happy with this one. It's really tight. I can't even get up there. If you look, I can't even get up there to mess with the cable. If one were to come loose or something. Or if I need to take the rig apart, it's very difficult to work on uh that's why you see just these just unplugged right now i mean the power still ran to the graphics cards i should disconnect the power to them or at least pull it from the power supply uh but for right now it's okay it's still running stable i'm gonna give this a few more hours i'm gonna give this one until i try to add another card so the issue i was having with just overloading the stack buffer. Windows was picking up the graphics cards. I can get it to register all six of them. But when I would come into Wattman, I would only see four GPUs. I don't know if I just, because I put them in and installed it, I needed to reboot it. It might be an issue I was having. What I was trying to do was uninstall every all the graphics drivers and reinstall them. That's when I was overloading the stack buffer. Uh, I didn't have that issue when I was running on the, the five of these and I believe I had this on Windows at one point. I didn't have an over stack buffer installing drivers with this either. Uh, my AMD cards though, even when I had my RX 480s, I had issues with that too, but I was also new to mining. So I kind of chalked it up as a learning experience. So this is my next, you know, AMD build and I'm having issues again. So maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Maybe I, there's something I'm, I should be doing that I'm not, um, you know, if, you guys have had these issues you know comment below what you guys did to solve them 
Uh, I'd like to get it off of Windows and back onto a Linux-based system, uh, preferably Hive OS. I do really enjoy Hive OS, uh, but you know, even these had a little bit of issues the past couple of days. This one actually crashed on me last night. It's up and running good now. It's been running for about three hours. And this one crashed too. So I don't know if I had an internet issue or something. I know Hive OS had issues over the weekend, but they resolved them with their interface and systems. I saw it on uh, Twitter that they had got them all resolved. But my AMD system, I'm really hoping to get this running because it's actually running more efficient than my P104s. Uh, these are about 125 watts per GPU and it's hashing around 36 mega hash a second per guard. So even if on stock clocks, if I can keep this at 38 to 39 mega hash a second at around the 100, 105 watts, even without a heavy overclock, I'd actually prefer to use them over, over these if I can keep it stable. I mean, stability is the thing. This, I went, I don't know, two months without even touching. Once I put it down here, I, I kind of didn't touch it for two months until last night, but you know, I rebooted it. I uh, switched it. I had it switched. It ran stale shares. Now it's getting errors for it in Hive OS. So I switched it to Claymore and then Claymore started crashing. So I switched it actually back to Phoenix Miner and so far so good. Uh, same with this one. I had this on uh, Claymore and it was crashing uh, and I, the miner kept rebooting. So I switched it back to Phoenix Miner and so far so good. It's been about I don't know, three or four hours per rig on it. I'll have to check this software. But like I said, my AMD build here. So, I plan on keeping it on Nice Ash for a little bit, uh, just testing for stability. Uh, I guess in the future, what I learned is I'm probably not going to be just slapping six graphics cards onto the rig and hoping for the best with an overclock. Uh, I really have to fine tune each card individually. I don't think I need to go through the process of testing a card on a test bench in each every time, but probably build all six, but keep it at stock clocks and slowly go down until they crash. And then try and narrow down which graphics cards can get which overclocks. I did go in the GPU Z and check because I know I've read on forums that some of the RX 560, uh, 5600 XTs. I read that some of them came with an old BIOS on them. So I did run, since these were all bought brand new and not older, when they first came out, they had a different BIOS on them from what I've read. And since then they corrected it to just make it a little more efficient and uh, actually faster, but they're all running the same BIOS. So I think just that, that one GPU getting 38 mega hash a second, I think I just lost the Silicon Lottery on that one. Uh, Temperature wise, they're all sitting about 60 to 61 Celsius. Uh, so I'm not worried about the temperature. As you can see in this basement, it's running about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, when I first came down here and, you know, the, my P104 rig was crashed. Uh, this one was still mining and this one had crashed overnight also. It was like 73 degrees Fahrenheit down here. I do have one fan blowing some cool air trying to get it from the other side of the basement uh, i plan on getting more eventually i also plan on getting 30 amp breakers to run these on uh, 240 volts but one step at a time as i grow can't do it all overnight but hopefully i can get an update video of this rig with all six graphics cards running stable uh, i'm still torn if i want to shut this down in about an hour and try and add a graphics card or see if it runs over the course of 24 hours stable without crashing or resetting the miners and you know eventually trying to get it if worst case scenario if i can't get all six graphics cards on here i'm i'm starting to lean more towards that the graphics cards aren't dead uh a few days ago i was leaning towards one of them, one of these 5600 XTs possibly being like dead on arrival, but they were hashing for a little while. So I could have just been overclocking too aggressively with one or two of them. 
in Hive OS, and that's what caused Red Team Miner to crash. Um, you know, some type of software issue inside of Windows 10 preventing me from installing the drivers on all six. Because once I put that fifth card on, I start getting that error. I, with the four, I don't get that error. Which, before, when I had NiceHash OS, I had a similar issue with my P10690 rig, actually. Five graphics cards would mine great, nice and stable. When I put the sixth on, it wouldn't even wouldn't even load Hive OS or uh, nice hash OS. So still learning, still learning as I go, and still growing. Uh, still loving my P104100 rig. So far, still my favorite rig. Hopefully, this one can take the crown as being my favorite rig if I can get it stable. But right now, it's just one big headache. Uh, you know, thanks for checking this update video out. Hopefully I can have some better news in the new next video. Hopefully we can get all six cars up and running stable. Even if I have to keep it all windows, I'll keep it all windows. Uh, but you know, let me know in the comments below if you guys have 5600 XT rigs or any other rigs you had issues with, how you solved them. Uh, what I could probably try and do to get this one solved or, you know, just comment below, talk about your rigs and what you're doing and how much your ashen but thanks for checking this video out make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more videos